Now we've reached the last phase of the stroke, the recovery phase. And although our blade is not actually in the water during this phase, it is just as important as the rest of the phases. During this phase, you want to relax your entire body and remember to breathe. This will help create a rhythm and allow your body to reach as far forward as possible during the next stroke as you set yourself up with a nice reach. Use the recovery phase to concentrate on your breathing and technique. You can say a mantra like breathe during the recovery phase to help create a rhythm and to help you relax during your stroke. This phase is just as important. Don't think that just because your paddle is not in the water, it doesn't matter. This phase will help produce a rhythm in your stroke and can affect your entire technique and should be dialed in just as much as you're working on your power phase, your catch, your reach, and your exit. Your recovery phase will then blend back into the reach and we start over again. By now, you understand each phase of the stroke and hopefully you realize more that they all affect each other. If you have a hinge in your recovery phase where you have a bad rhythm and maybe a little glitch, that's going to affect how far you reach, which is then going to affect your catch, power phase, and so forth. And what does this all do? It all adds up to create an inefficiency by itself, it might be something small each time, but during the course of a race or training session, we're paddling thousands of times. So it's going to add up to slower speed and the possibility for injury. So understand each stroke individually, but realize we want to be blending them all together with a good rhythm.